Kia ora. My name is Rania Lani from the liaison team at Lincoln University. Joining me today is senior lecturer Joanna Fountain to tell us all about the Bachelor of Tourism Management. However, before we get going, Joanna, could you please introduce yourself, why you're so passionate about your subject area, as well as your role at Lincoln University? Thanks, Rania. Um, yeah, my name's Joanna Fountain. I'm a tourism lecturer at Lincoln University. I'm in the Department of Tourism, Sport and Society. Uh, and in that role, I've been working at Lincoln for 16 years. Uh, Lincoln's actually my hometown, so I grew up here as well. So it's really nice to be able to work so close to home. Uh, so in my role, um, I'm, as I said, a lecturer in tourism. I teach event management and I teach uh, introduction to tourism as well as other um, courses as required. Okay, awesome. So can you please tell us a little bit about what students can expect to learn in the Bachelor of Tourism Management? Yeah, so the Bachelor of Tourism Management, like all of the degrees at Lincoln, does have quite a degree of flexibility. So, um, yes, you'll obviously be studying aspects of tourism, but you can also um, combine that with other interests that you might have. So as part of the degree, you'll learn about uh, tourism systems, but you'll also learn about the people involved in tourism and the places involved in tourism. So at Lincoln, um, we talk about tourism as being about products, people and places. So the products are obviously what you think of when you think about tourism. It's the tourist attractions, it's the accommodation, it's the transportation system. Um, the people, yes, we're thinking about tourists, but we're also thinking about the people who live in the communities that tourists come from. So you'll learn about them as well. And also the people who host the tourists, so the people who work in the tourism industry. And then places, well, obviously New Zealand is known for its beautiful places. If we don't look after those places, they become um, much less attractive as tourist attractions. So we're interested in the environmental um, impact of tourism as well, and so the places that tourism happens. As I said, you also can learn about other things you're interested in. So if you're interested in event management or um, outdoor recreation or marketing, you can also focus in that um, within your degree. Okay, that sounds super interesting, Joanna. Can you tell us a little bit about the classes? Is there any practical work involved? What do students expect in the class? I think probably um, we start off at first year level, we mostly have um, sort of lectures with tutorials, so maybe three hours of lectures a week and an hour of tutorials. As you go further up through the degree, um, you, you may have less um, lectures and more discussions and seminars. So that's definitely a feature. Our classes are all um, relatively small. So even at third year level, you may only have 25 or 35 in your class. And so you do get to know the lecturers and the other people in the class and, and that's really important. In terms of practical work, at third year level you have the option of doing a practical placement. Uh, it's not compulsory but many students do think it's really useful to get out there into industry and also all your lecturers have lots of connections with the industry so we are often advertising jobs that come through through the networks as well. So you do get to meet and engage with our people from industry in various ways. I actually think that's probably one of the most um, exciting thing about Lincoln University is gaining experience, not just in the classroom, but also outside of the classroom. So you're getting that experience in the industry and it makes Lincoln University graduates stand out. And that brings me to, I guess, my second question. If I was to graduate with this qualification, what kind of careers could I possibly see myself in? And is there really a demand for this qualification? Oh, well, well, I was, should have just added as well that we do actually have field trips in some of our courses as well and guest lecturers who come in from industry. So as you said, um, Lincoln does have the advantage of being relatively small, but also really engaged and really applied to the industry. In terms of career options, it really does depend a little bit on what you're interested in. So it's very hard to say this is the career you'll have. So if your interest is more around policy and planning, then you may end up working for a local government authority in planning for tourism and tourism impacts. Um, many of our graduates end up running their own tourism businesses. So that might be a tour company or it might be an adventure tourism activity. Uh, you may end up working as a, in a marketing department or in a regional tourism organization. So again, we really like to help our students to ensure that they take the courses that are gonna most suit their interests so that we can really tailor them to a career path that they are um, seeking. Okay, and is there a demand for this qualification? 
Oh, well, we're obviously in very interesting times at the moment. So um, there's no doubt that tourism is facing a number of challenges in the uh, coming months and years. But in general, um, that's even more, there'll be even more requirement for people with qualifications and professionals in tourism who understand the full context in which change is occurring. So absolutely, um, there will be a wee bit of a decline, but by the time uh, today's school kids are getting out into university, there'll be plenty of different kinds of jobs available for them as we face a kind of a new tourism future for New Zealand. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, lastly, what could you give as the best advice for um, subject selection for school students, for them to, I guess, ultimately um, lead up to university? What would help them most? The first thing I always say to students is um, study what you're interested in, because if you study what you're interested in, then you'll do better. So first and foremost, do what interests you. Um, but in terms of subjects that are useful for tourism, uh, there aren't any specific subjects that are really useful. Yes, some of some students will take tourism related subjects at school, that's not required. Generally, what we like is students have done the social sciences though. So subjects like um, history and geography, um, really useful backgrounds, um, really useful to carry on with your English, um, um, maybe some languages if you're thinking about working in tourism overseas and probably economics is another one that's kind of a useful foundation for tourism. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today, Joanna. You're welcome. If you have any questions at all or would you like more information about what we just talked about, pop on over to your career advisor's office and she will link or he will link you up with your liaison officer for Lincoln University. Bye for now. See you next time.